of prayer, which is important. Prayer changes things. First thing, first one that changes is you. So we are thankful to be here one more time to be able to have a little talk with Jesus. We are thankful for those who join us, for those who um, give to the cause of Christ through Community Baptist Church here, for the furtherance of the gospel message, for the continued expanding of the kingdom of God. Uh, we have to, in every way we can, share Christ. That doesn't always mean uh, that we tell people about Jesus, but sometimes just loving on people will open the door and make give the opportunity to tell somebody about Christ and they receive it. So we are thankful today uh, for all those who give through your tithes, your offerings, your sacrificial givings. You don't tithe, put God to the test. Try, he said, try me uh, in this. I was a man about God, about God, and tithes and offerings. In other words, when you rob somebody, you're taking something that's not yours. The tithes and the offerings do not belong to you. They belong to the Lord. But he also has the blessing to it. He says, see, I want to open for you windows of heaven. Pour you out a blessing. You don't have room enough to receive. Also, he will rebuke the devourer. So in other words, he'll pour out blessings of uh, that, that you won't have room enough to receive, but also he'll keep you in perfect peace. He'll, he'll uh, not let moths and rust come in and steal your blessings. And so... But you have to trust God. You have to believe in God to make that happen. So we're thankful to those who do and those who don't consider uh, is he your Lord or not. We want to thank you for your prayers. As we pray for you and you pray for us. Uh, those on our sick and shut in list. You can find that information on our sick and shut in list. You can find it on our website cbcsr.org you can put prayer requests there if you have any prayer requests put them there also so many things um, that we do we want to specifically uh, thank you for your prayers and continue to keep me in your prayers um, my family we need to pray for our brother Jim Kennedy Sister Maria Dwyer staff here at Community Baptist Church I want to pray for um, our ministers, Reverend Michael Francis and his family, Reverend Kenny Parker and his family, also Reverend Jerome Sims and his family also. We want to pray for our auxiliaries, our boards, our committees, our deacon and deaconess boards. We want to pray for our uh, trustee board, usher boards, the other committees and groups, strategists who help continue to make us do effective work to serve the community. Pray for those who uh, come to Bible study and those who are heading up to Bible studies. Thank God that we have a Bible study. We have Bible studies here. And uh, we want you to come Thursday nights at 6.30. We want you to come to Bible study here at Community Baptist Church. Come on. We'd love to have you here. And um, we don't task you to come Sunday mornings because we begin around 9 a.m. and our service begins at 10.45 and we have a time in between where um, a lot of people probably don't want to be waiting around. So we are thankful 
But Bible study is important. We're a Bible believing, Bible teaching church. Because therein lies not only the word of God, but the God of the word. And we want the word of God to lead us to the God of the word. So I want to challenge you, those who haven't been coming, come on to Bible study. If we, if we can't help you, we won't hurt you. <laughs> Amen. So I want to continue to pray for specifically for the Dietrich and Edwards family for blessing and guidance, for Sophia Correa and family for direction and protection, Sister Jasmine Cuffey for healing of illness, Sister Ali Ashley Cochran for healing from a heart attack. The Harris family for blessing and protection. The Givens family at the loss of Christopher Givens. Brother Michael Ramirez for physical healing and comfort. Brother Matthew Ledford for recovery from surgery after a car accident. We always say the wellest day of your life you're sick enough to die. Somebody got up this morning, maybe on their way just out somewhere, going to work, whatever. They were on their way to work, but they didn't know that along the way they would get into an accident. Something that would change their life uh, forever. And so we always want to be ready uh, to face God Almighty. Uh, in the meantime, we want to be found doing His work. So as we open up our prayer this evening, Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah chapter 12, hear ye the words of the prophet. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation, hallelujah, I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord. Jehovah is my strength and my song. He is also, he also is become my salvation. <laughs> Therefore with joy shall he draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day he say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry and shout in the inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Twelfth chapter of Isaiah. God's word we know is blessed forever. But I ask uh, Reverend, Paul, uh, Reverend Sims to come and begin us in our prayers as we does everybody pray? Pray with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you for just another day of this sweet hour of prayer, Lord. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for joining us today at Community Baptist Church during this sweet hour of prayer. A church that prays yes. together stays together. So we just want to say thank you for joining us right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now with a bow down head and an open heart just to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, just for waking us up this morning clothed in our right mind. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, that we have the activities in our limbs. Father God, we have the eyes to see and the ears to hear and the mind to have to be able to have it stayed on thee. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for that amazing grace and mercy, Father God, that kept us all night long while we slept. And woke up this morning, Father God, with a new breath, that, that new inhale and exhale, oh Lord, that only that you can give. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, oh God, just for being so awesome, Father God, awesome than, than anyone is in this whole world. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all oh, that grace and that mercy. 
that grace and that mercy, oh God, that keeps us, oh God, from danger seen and unseen. We just want to say thank you. Oh God, that mercy, that mercy, oh God, that you give us, oh God, through all our trials and tribulations, oh God, when we make that wrong decision, you give us that mercy, that grace, oh God, where, oh God, that we can be able to get back in alignment with you. We just want to say thank you. Before I ask for anything else, oh God, I just want to just say thank you. Thank you, oh God, that we are able, Father God, to just say, wake up and come here, Father God, to praise your holy name. You kept us from danger seen and unseen for a whole nother week, Father God. And we come in here today, Father God, to just say thank you. Thank you, Lord, Father God, because we know that you are good God and the only God that we need in this world, Father God. We just want to say thank you. Oh, God, we just want to lift you up today. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Father God, for the angel of this house, oh, God, we just want to say thank you for touching him in a mighty way. Father God, keep restoring him, Father God, from the well that never runs dry. We just want to say thank you, God. Thank you for all that you're doing in his life. Thank you for rebuilding him and restoring him, Father God, that only that you can do. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for giving us such an angel, Father God, that you have picked for this sanctuary, for Community Baptist, Father God. He was handpicked by you, Father God, hand-selected. And we just want to say thank you. He was anointed and appointed by you, Father God, to lead this congregation, Father God. We put not trust in him, Father God. We put not trust in you, Father God, for him to lead us, Father God, into the land of milk and honey. And Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for what he does for this congregation. Thank you for all that he continues to do for this congregation, Father God. We need a strong leader, Father God, and we thank you for giving us a strong leader, Father God. And we just want to say thank you because, Father God, he studies your word. He has us all study your word. Your word is life. Your word is us. Your word, Father God, is a foundation. Your word is the beginning of time, Father God. And it, and it never changes not, Father God. That's why we study your word, Father God, because it's it's the way, Father God, that you have created us to be. You created us to be worshipers, oh God. And we just want to say thank you for the angel that you have given us, Father God, because we're following him, oh God. We're following him all the way, and we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for his family, Father God. Keep giving them family that same hedge of protection against the enemy. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for his grandchildren. Thank you for his children, yeah. his daughters, and his sons, oh God. And we just want to say thank you. Build them up, Father God, wherever they need to be built up at, oh God. Restore them wherever they need to be restored, Father God. And we just want to say thank you, Father God. M make sure, Father God, that you just stay right there with them. Never leave them nor forsake them, Father God. Always be and have them be with you in an alignment. Father God, with your glory and your mercy. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you continue to do for the angel of this house. And we just want to say thank you. For all the other auxiliaries, oh God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you that we are leading us and guiding us in the way that you would have us to go to be able to evangelize to a dying world about a living Savior, be able to evangelize about what you have done for us, to be able to evangelize how we are how we are more than conquerors, Father God, because of you. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, just for calling us into your ministry. Thank you, Father God, just for letting us know, Father God, that you are greatest, that we are great in you, Father God. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, because once we focus and have our minds stayed on thee, there's nothing that we can't do. And there's nothing that the devil can come against us, Father God. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for just making us mighty warriors, Father God. We thank you for that whole armor of God, Father God. We thank you for what you've given us, oh God. We say thank you. Oh Lord, we just want to lift you up today. We thank you for all our auxiliaries in this house, oh God. Keep restoring us, oh God. Keep touching our families, oh God. Each member of Community Baptist, Father God, go into their, home, into their homes right now. Father God, cover their house with that, their, their porch with that blood right now. And let the devil know to keep on, keep on passing by. Because these are your children. We are saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. And Father God, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you for all that you continue to do for us, Father God. Because that enemy, Father God, that enemy is coming trying to steal and kill, Father God. But I'm, I'm here to say right now, I declare right now, I, as he declared war on me, I declare war back on him. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for letting me know, oh Lord, that I am great, that, that, that I am a great mighty conqueror, and that I can do all things because of you. And there's nothing that the devil can take away from me, Father God, that you can't give me back. 
And I just want to say thank you. Father God, we come to you right now, Father God, because we know, Father God, that you hear our cries. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for the anointing community Baptist, Father God. Thank you for purging community Baptist, Father God. Thank you for bringing in the new, the new souls, the, the new the new people, that, Father God, that, that, that needs that word. That needs that word to be healed, Father God. They need that transformation word, Father God, from old high, Father God. And they seek us. They seek community Baptist for that. For that guidance, oh God, into your word. Into that guidance into the darkness of this of this world, Father God, through your word. And Father God, the guidance, Father God, through your word that heals our body. We thank you for all what you do for us in community practice, oh God. We study your word because your word is a healing word, Father God. And once, Father God, that you let your people know, Father God, that you are the way out of the way. That you are the healer out of all healers. And you are our foundation, Father God. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for appointing and anointing each and every one of the members of Community Baptist to keep doing that will that you have called us to do. Thank you, Father God, that we continue to pray on one accord, Father God, uh, under one accord, under through the holy blood of the fellowship, Father God, that we know, Father God, that you are, that you hear us and that you protect us and that you guide us and you give us that power to be able to tread all over the devil, to be able to tell the devil to take his hands off our children, to be able to tell the devil to stay on his side. Oh God, we thank you for giving us that armor, Father God. We thank you for that, that, that word, Father God, that's sharper than a, sharper than a double-edged sword. We thank you for all that you do for us, Father God. After all that I have been through, after all what the devil has tried to take from me, after all what he thinks that he has won, and I say, he cannot win this battle against me. Because, Father God, because you have created me in your image, Father God, and I say thank you because I know, Father God, I can do all things through Christ Jesus, Father God. And we just want to say thank you because the enemy is coming. He's coming to steal and kill and take people away from your salvation, oh God. And we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for always giving us that salvation freely. It's free to succeed indeed because who the Son is set free. And we just want to say thank you. There's nothing that we can't do through all Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the blood. We thank you for the power of the blood of the Lamb. We thank you for that power of the blood to be able to do all things, to be able to tell that enemy to leave us alone, to be able to overcome what the enemy tries to come against us, to be able to do all things, Father God, that you have created us to do. The enemy is coming. He's trying to come through any crack, any window thing, any window that we leave open. Oh God, that's why we must protect ourselves with the full armor of God. We must protect ourselves because the enemy is coming and he's trying to destroy what God has already created. And we just want to say thank you that we know your word. Your word is, it endures through all generations and it has never changed. And we say thank you because we're going to stand on your solid rock, oh Lord. And we're going to confess with our praises, oh God, for what you have done for us. And we're going to let them know, oh God, the unbelievers, Father God. That you are, that you are who you say you are. You are that you are the great I am. Your word, oh God, endures through all generations. You you give us those signs and those wonders from the angels, oh God. You are that incredible healer. You are that way out of that dark way. You are the one who opened those doors that need to be opened. You are the one who shut the doors, oh God, that we try to open that needs to be shut so we can go ahead and keep pushing through that narrow way to your glory. And we say thank you. We say thank you because there's nothing that we can't do through Christ Jesus. And we say thank you, Lord, because we know that we can do everything through you. We thank you, Father God, for just, for just lifting us up today. We say thank you because you are who you say you are. You cleanse our soul. You set us free from them, them combinations, oh God. You set us free from ourselves, and we say thank you. Thank you for loving us unconditionally when we didn't even love ourselves. We thank you that you never gave up on us, oh Lord. We thank you that right now, oh God, as, as some of your, your, your saints are battling with, with your idea, we are all called to be worshipers. We are here to help each other 
We are here to love each other through the blood of the Lamb. Jesus is love. Jesus is love. He called us to love. So we must love our enemies sometimes. We must love our enemies all the time. That's what he called us to do because he loved, he loved the Pharisees and Sadducees even though they was trying to kill him. He loved his own people even though they were throwing rocks at him. He loved his own people while they were sitting there gambling and, and trying to sell his garments while he was on the cross. He loved us anyway. So saints of God, we must be able to endure and love the ones who hate us. We just want to say thank you. Oh, we just want to say thank you because there's still room at the cross for them too. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for filling us up with your power, which is that comfort of that Holy Ghost. And we just want to say thank you because the power of that Holy Ghost to be able to tread against that enemy and be able to stand against that enemy and tell him that we are not surrendering. We know who we stand with. We know that we are from that solid rock. We know who our God is. We know who we serve. And we're going to lift him up to the day he calls us home. And Father God, we say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for making men strong in you. The men, of, the, men the godly men strong in you. To be able, when the enemy tries to come and take, to take them away from what your salvation and what your glory and what you already ordained our steps in. We say thank you that you gave us that power to be able to tell that enemy, oh God, to stay on his side. Yes. To be able to overcome that enemy that tries to, to tell us to, to go the other way. But I tell you now, men of God, we stand on that solid rock. And whatever the affliction it may come, Jesus endured it, we're going to endure it. Yes. Whatever Jesus went through, we're going to go through it. Whatever it has to be, it has to be. And I tell you this much, I'm not going nowhere. And neither is my thing. We stand on this solid rock. And we are not moving anywhere. Because we know what God had already preordained. He already preordained our steps. And we shall not fall, slip, or slumber. Because we know who, who he is and what he has created in us in this broken vessel. Oh God, we say thank you. We thank you for the well, the well, oh God, that living water, oh God, that, the water that washes away all our sins. The water, oh God, that, that cleanses our soul. Oh God, we thank you for that holy water, oh God, that, that oh God, that, that surpasses all of our understanding when you are anointed. We say thank you. We say thank you for our families. We say thank you for our parents, oh God. I say thank you for my mother and father. I say thank you for all my aunties. I say thank you for all my uncles and all my ladies, oh God. Give them all that same protection against the enemy. Father God, let, let them know, oh God, that they must still run off to see what the end is going to be. Father God, we say thank you. We say thank you that, Father God, that we are able to go forward because of what you have already endured for us. We thank you that we have already got the victory. We just got to stand in it. We just got to own it. We just got to obey your word. We got to obey your commandment. You commanded us to be worshipers. Oh God, the enemy comes to steal and kill and destroy, and he creates worry in their heart. Worry for change. Worry to do better because they want it to their old ways. The devil don't want you to advance. He wants you to stay right there. But Jesus, he kept advancing. He kept going, pushing towards the mark of the higher calling in Christ Jesus. He knew what God had called him to do. He knew what God had called him to do, and he didn't stop. So we must not stop. Because the enemy is coming. He's coming. He's trying to take away us from what God has already preordained. We say thank you, Lord, that we are able to see those things. Because this ain't the first fight that we ever had against the devil. 
This ain't our first battle. Oh God, we are. We thank you that you have made us great conquerors because we have all been through many battles and we have all st stood the test of time because of your glory, because of your mercy, because of your grace. Yes. We say thank you. It's nothing, oh God, that we can't do through you. We say thank you, no matter what it is, oh God. We can stand the test of time because what you have already put inside of us, oh God. And we say thank you. We say thank you for always leading us and guiding us in a way that you would have us become. Even though we want to go left, oh God, you pull us back to the right way. We say thank you. Thank you for filling us up, oh God. Filling us up with your word, oh God. Filling us up with your mercy. Filling us up with your grace. Filling us up with your, your ways and your house. We say thank you. Thank you for touching us today. Because you touched us. We woke up this morning. You touched us today. That we could be able to have our mind to be able to, to praise you and worship you all day long. We say thank you for touching us today. That we're able to have that new song in our mind at 3 a.m. We say thank you for touching us today. To where I could be able to, to carry on through my daily journey. I say thank you for touching me today. Because of the blood of the Lamb, oh God, to where I can stand against the enemy when he's trying to tear me apart. I say thank you for touching me today. Yeah. Oh God, because I was in that dark all week. But you showed me that light during this sweet hour of prayer. And I say, thank you for touching me today. Oh, God, I say, thank you. Thank you, oh, God, for your signs and your wonders. I thank you for your miracles, oh, God. I thank you that you have anointed me. I thank you, Father God, that you made me great conquerors just like Joseph and Caleb. And I feel I'm the same way. I feel I'm the same way. That I can stand no matter what it is. Whatever the enemy has, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving off this solid rock. I will not be defeated because I already got the victory. Oh, don't let me call my archangel Gabriel. Don't let me call the angels through Jesus. To be able to do all things because of what he has already put in us. You can do anything if you put your mind on it through Christ Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that you could go in this world today. That you are a God, a God of everywhere. And I want you right now, oh God, to go touch everybody everywhere. Because there's dying everywhere right now. There's children dying by by the thousands right now in other countries. Starvation. Oh God, go in there and give them peace. Talk to the government. Oh God, make sure that they fig tree just don't bear the leaves, but also bear the fruit. We say thank you. Because that fig tree represents the government of that place, oh God. And we say thank you. We say thank you for the fig tree of Community Baptist that our fig tree has multiple fruit. We say thank you. We say thank you for what you're doing here, but do the same over there. Oh God, we say thank you. Fill some hungry child's belly up today. Give some child who is cold, give them a blanket tonight. Oh God, oh God through, the, through all the, the, the bombs and through all the terrorism, oh God, Give them a peaceful sleep tonight. Give them that hedge of protection. Cover them. Drape them with your blood. Drape them, oh God. We say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for just doing what you do. Thank you, Father God, for just bringing all the churches back together, oh God. We say thank you, Father God, because COVID had did some things, oh God, and I believe it. COVID was here for a thing, you, for a reason. Oh, God, because nothing can happen unless you let it happen. And we say thank you that you are able to do whatever you needed to do through all our congregation, through all the churches, and, and everything that you do, oh, God, through the pandemic, oh, God. 
Father God, we thank you that you kept some of us, oh God. We say, we say thank you that you kept us through that pandemic, oh God. And the ones that went home, oh God, you called them home for a reason, oh God. And we say thank you. We say thank you that you are, are, are a sovereign God. We say thank you that you love us no matter what it is that we go through each and every day, oh God. We know that you love us no matter what it is. We say thank you. Oh God, give us that protection against the enemy. We say thank you that, that you know, that we know that you 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 always are always with us no matter what. When the enemy tries to come, oh God, all we got to do is say your word. All we got to do is read and say a scripture. Or just say Jesus. Or just say Jesus help. Or say just thank you, Jesus. Just say thank you. And he'll do his will right then. We say thank you right now, God, for all that you continue to do in all our lives. We know that you are the greatest I am. We know that you are the greatest in this whole global world, oh God. And you live within us because you are living, God. And you live in us, oh God, we say thank you. We say, Father God, we say thank you for just touching us right now. And Father God, as you touch us, oh God, touch someone right now in the operating room right now, oh Jesus. Go in there, Father God, and reverse whatever the doctor said. And Father God, show your glory and your mercy and your grace. Oh God, show those signs and wonders to, to, make, the, to make the doctors let, you, let them know that you were there. We say thank you right now for, for, your, for, for you to be able to heal all manners of diseases. We say thank you for for we reversing what man has caused on our on, on mankind. And we say thank you. thank you. Thank you for just going into the prisons, Father God, and into the juvenile facilities and, and, and telling having your, your people testify and have them surrender their ways for your ways and have them cry out yeah. and say, What must I do to be saved? Yeah. Because all they do is keep putting themselves back in those ungodly situations. Oh God, we just want to say thank you that you are able to help them, oh God, to be able to get out of those situations once they submit, once they cry out, once they say, God, what can I do? What can I do to be saved? Oh God, we say thank you. Thank you for all what you continue to do in our lives, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for when we were lost, oh God, you, you found us. Yeah. We, we say thank you, Father God, for making us the head and not the tail. Yeah. We say thank you that you are a holy God and you make ways for your, your people. Yeah. We, oh God, we want to just say thank you during this sweet hour of prayer. Yes, oh God, for all that you continue to do in your saints' lives. Oh, God, move in an unusual way in their houses today. Oh, God, lift someone up in their houses today. Have someone cry out today in them houses, oh, God, and have them say, what must I do to be saved? Oh, God, fill your sanctuary up tomorrow, God, with some new, fresh, new people. Yeah, some new people that need to be anointed some new people that need to be appointed by you, oh God. Have them say, what must I do to be saved? Well, we thank you, Lord, that you made a day today, that you made today out of no way, but you made it for our grace, and you made it for our mercy, and we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord, that you never pulled a plug from us. We say thank you, Lord, that you never turn back your salvation. We say thank you, Lord, that your blood always cleanses our wrongdoings. We say thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. We just want to say thank you today. Well, we thank you for always touching us no matter what it is. Through all our wrongdoings. Oh, God. We thank you for that protection. Oh God, we thank you for the anointing. Oh God, we thank you for the position. 
Oh God, we thank you for your ways. Oh God, we thank you for another day's journey. Well, we thank you. But it's sweet our prayer. A church that prays together stays together, brothers and sisters. And Father God, make a way for you, your saints tomorrow to be able to come into your sanctuary, to be able to praise and worship you, to be able to call out to you, to be able to say help, to be able to say thank you, to be able to do exceedingly abundantly because what you have deposited in them. Oh God, help them to be able to take that trash off the treasure. Oh, through your word and your signs and your wonders, we say thank you. Oh God, we want to thank you for this sweet hour prayer. We want to say thank you. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. In every glad heart, said amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In First Peter chapter three, verses twelve, it says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Amen. <sighs> Heavenly Father. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you with a bow down head and an open heart, praying this prayer in the name of Jesus, asking you again, O oh God, to forgive us of our sins, and they be many, Father God. We ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to wash us and cleanse us in the blood of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Father God, we thank you for the perfect sacrifice. We thank you, Father God, for all that you've done, Father God. Yes, and all that you're doing. Father God, we ask in the name and in the blood of Jesus, Lord, that you continue to lead and guide us in the way to go. Father God, we acknowledge that you created the heavens and the earth and everything in the universe. Father God, you created it all, Lord. It all belongs to you, for you, and through you, Lord. It was all designed, visible and invisible. Yes, Lord, it's all designed by your grand plan, Father God. Yes, Lord, you had a master plan. And Father God, you're the master of all things, Father God. And we want to just acknowledge you as the king of kings and the lord of lords you are god the true living god that we can call upon each and every hour of the day father god we thank you for always being there father god we ask in the name of jesus that you continue to watch over our sick and shut in father god everything that's on the list Lord, we lift them up to you in the name and in the blood of Jesus, asking you to speak to them, O oh God, with that small, still voice, O oh God. Let them hear from you, Lord. Let them know, O oh God, that you are right there with them. Father God, you said in your own word that you would never leave nor forsake us. And Father God, for that alone, we want to say thank you. Father God, we want to lift up our pastor to you. Pastor H. We Turner, Father God, for clarity, blessing, and encouragement, Father God. We ask, oh God, that you continue to build him up where he's torn down. Father God, you know exactly uh, who he is because you made him, Father God. You know exactly what he's going through because you designed him. Yes, Lord, from the very foundation of the world, oh Lord, you know all about it, Father God. And so, Father God, we just ask in the name of Jesus, you continue to keep a hedge of protection around him, Lord, as you continue to call on him, as you call him, continue to call him your own, Lord. Yes, Lord, we ask you to be with his family, his daughters, his sons, Father God. Yes, his grandchildren, Lord, his brothers and sisters. Lord, we lifted them all up to you in the name and in the blood of Jesus, asking you to continue to just call on him, Lord, continue to wake him up and start him on his way. Wake him up, clothed in his right mind, knowing that, Father God, when you wake him up, Lord, he has you on his mind. Yes, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you continue to give him the, uh, the will to preach and teach and pray to you. Yes, Lord, to do the Father's will, to be about the Father's business. As he continue to evangelize to a dying world about 
who you are. Yes, you are the Savior of the world, and we want to say thank you for saving each and every one of us. Father God, we want to say thank you. Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to lift up Reverend Francis to you in the name and in the blood of Jesus, asking you to continue to be with him and his family, Lord. Lord, we lift him up to you right now. Just give him that strength, oh God. Lord, we ask you to take that uh, the sciatica pain away, Lord, Lord, right now, Lord, and just give them that rest in you, Father God. Oh, Lord, there's nothing like that sweet rest in you. Father God, when we get that rest, Lord, we know, Father God, that you give us the energy to keep keep moving on. Yes, marching on to your word. Lord, we just ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to lift, lift up Reverend Sims to you and his family, Father God. His wife, Jennifer Lord, continue to mend her up, build her up where she's torn down as she continues to sing Zion songs to you, praising and worshiping and glorify you. But Lord, be with his daughter Maya, Father God, and all his daughters, Father God, his sons, Father God. Just continue to be with them all, Father God, his mother and his father. Yes, Lord, continue to be with her, his aunts and his uncle, Lord. Continue to be with that whole lineage, Father God. And there be many, Father God. Just continue to Hold him up, oh God. Let him know, Father God, that he's on the right road with you, on that narrow pathway with you. As he continues to walk with you and talk with you and you continue to call him your own, Lord, give him a fresh anointing, oh God. Oh, how great thou art. You are a mighty God, an awesome God. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, oh God, for being uh, our provider. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you, Lord, for being our refuge, oh God. Yes, Lord, we want to say thank you. And Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to lift up my family to you. My wife, Lori, Father God, I lift her up to you. Give her that strength to continue to do, oh God. Give her a calmness in her nerves, Father God. Oh Lord, where she's able to just think on you, Lord, and know that you love her with unconditional love. Be with my sister-in-law penny father god whatever she's going through right now father god we ask in the name of jesus that that whatever that spirit may be god give her clarity of thought mind and heart lord oh father god we ask this in jesus name lord i ask to be with my daughter mariah father god lord just continue to build her up lord from her surgery lord just continue to strengthen her oh god give her a good report oh god Yes, Lord, I know it comes from you, Lord, all things, Lord. And I know, Father God, you will see them through. Be with all my grandchildren, Father God. Uh, Elijah, Layla, Lord, uh, a little Daryl, Daryl, I mean, Darrell. And Lord, be with uh, uh, Joshua, Father God. Be with Erica, Lord, as she travels uh, back and forth, Father God. Be with her, Lord. Be with Lauren, Father God, as she prepares to get married, Father God. Lord, we just ask in the name of Jesus, you continue to be with them all. Be with my sisters and brothers on the East Coast, Father God. Be with all my family lineage, Father God. Yes, Lord, you know them, oh God, because you sit high and you look low. You know everywhere we go. We can call on the name of Jesus. We can lift up our hands in the name of Jesus. We can cry out in the name of Jesus. No, Lord, that you are right there. Father God, we just want to say thank you again. Thank you for another day that wasn't promised to us. Uh, thank you for another week, oh God, that you brought for us. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the shelter. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the water. Thank you for your son, Jesus the Christ. Yes, Lord, the only begotten, beloved one. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's no other name that I need to call upon. When I call on the name of Jesus, all things stop because of Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. He's in control of all things. You've given him authority in heaven and on earth. And Father God, that alone is a thank you. Lord, I'm calling on the one with all authority. Yes, Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. Father God, we want to say thank you, Father God. Lord, we ask you to bless everyone on our prayer list, Father God. Yes, the Dietrich and Edwards family, Father God, for blessing and guidance. Lord, for Sister Sophia Correa and family for direction and protection. Help that young lady, Father God, make the right decision and follow you, Lord. Lord, we ask you to be with Sister Jasmine Cuffey, Lord, uh, for healing of an illness. Lord, we ask you to be with uh, Sister Ashley Cochran, Lord, for healing up from a heart attack. Lord, we ask you to be with the Harris family for blessing and protection. Lord, we want to lift up the Gibbons, Gibbons family for the loss of Christopher Gibbons. Yes, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus to comfort him in a mighty way. Lord, we ask you to be with Brother Mike 
Ramirez for physical healing and comfort. Lord, we ask to be with Brother Matthew Lett for, for recovering up from a surgery after the car accident. Lord, we know that you are the great physician. Lord, you can make a, a, a scar and you can make an incision and not leave a scar. Yes, Lord, we want to just say thank you. Father God, we know, oh God, that you are the great physician. Yes, Father God, as you continue to heal us all, Father God. Yes, Lord, from the inside out. Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord as we continue to just call on the name of Jesus, thanking you, oh God, who, for who you are. You are an awesome God. You are mighty God. Yes, you're worthy to be praised and worthy to be worshipped. Lord, we want to lift up all of those who are homeless right now. We want to lift up all of those, Father God, who are mentally ill right now, Lord. Oh God, all of those that are strung out on drugs, oh God, who are being led astray, Father God. All of those who are addicted to alcohol, who've been led and drowning in that out of alcohol. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to be with them all. Lord, we ask you to be with the city officials, oh Lord, from the president down to the local official, Father God. All of those in Sacramento, all of those in Santa Rosa, all of those in Congress and Washington. Yes, all the parliaments and all the countries, Lord. We're lifting up every continent to you right now in the name and in the blood of Jesus. Lord, we're lifting up every person in the world to you right now in the name and the blood of Jesus. Father God, because everybody needs to know that you made a way for us all, Lord. Yes, oh God, so love the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, so that everyone knows that there's still room at the cross for us all. Lord, I want to say thank you, Lord, as you continue to bless us all, Lord. Yes, Lord, you said that we can come humbly yet boldly into the throne of grace and mercy, where we will find mercy. Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord, that we can come humbly yet boldly, Father God, and kneel down at the cross, leaving all our cares and burdens on you, Lord. Yes, Lord, because you care for us. Lord, I thank you for caring for a people who rebel against you, Lord. Yes. yes, Lord, you continue to spread out your hands each and every day to a rebellious society, Lord, that continue to turn away from you. But love help us to turn back to you, Father God. Because, Father God, I know that you can do it. Yes, Lord, there's nothing too hard for you. You said that your word will go out and do what you called it to do, and it's working even right now. Lord, I thank you for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, oh Lord, for never giving up on any of us. Lord, I want to say thank you, Lord, because when we don't think about you, you think about each and every one of us, each and every day, Lord. You wake us up and start us on our way. We don't just do this on our own, Lord. And I just want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you for that rest that we get in you, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. That was the Lord. To continue to pray to you, Father God, because we need to pray to you. Oh God, the power of prayer, Lord, it works everywhere. Yes. Lord, there's nowhere where that prayer doesn't work. And I know, and I just love to tell somebody about the living Savior, the true living God, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord, I want to say thank you, Lord, because Father God, you're doing a mighty work in all of us, oh Lord. Yes, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Father God, we have to be with all of those who are incarcerated right now, Lord. Yes, let them know that there's still a way. No matter how dark it is, you can pull them out into your marvelous light. Father God, as you pull us all out of the darkness of God, into your marvelous light, I just want to say thank you. Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord, because you can reach down in the deepest hole and pull us out of it. Father God, thank you, Lord, because Father God, you have that drawing power as we continue to lift you up. You said, Father God, you are drawing all men to you. So, Father God, we're going to continue to lift you up. We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to tell somebody about a living Savior. Yes, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus is the one that you need to call on. Jesus is the one that you need to hold on to. Jesus is the one that you need to just cry out to. Jesus is the one that you need to say, I love you, Lord, because you first loved me. Don't forget about your your first love, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Father God, I just want to say thank you. Oh God, because you're still in control. Yes, Lord, you still sit high and you look low. You're still on your throne. Father God, and nobody can knock you off. Father God, I just want to say thank you. Oh God, thank you. Oh God, for who you are, Father God. 
Yes, Lord, you've made a way, Father God. There's nothing we can't do without you, Father God. We can continue to call on you in the midnight hour. We can call on you in the noonday hour. We can call on you, Father God, in that early morning hour, and you're still right there because you said you will never leave nor forsake us. Father God, you said that you are there in the uh, a very present help in a time of trouble. Lord, I just want to say thank you. There's so much that you uh, downloaded into me, Father God. I just want to say thank you, Father God. Oh, God, just continue to draw out. Use me, Father God. Oh, God, as we continue to stay on that battlefield for the Lord. Yes, Lord, carry that blood thing banner for you. Lord, I want to say thank you, Lord, because, Father God, we know, Father God, that you are in control. Oh, Father God, I just know that we have a victory in Christ Jesus. Lord, we've already got the victory. Lord, you uh, know who's going to come to you, Father God. And Lord, I just thank you for never giving up on me, Lord, or giving up on any of us who have already came. Help us, Father God, to continue to walk with you. Help us, oh Lord, to continue to talk to you. Help us, oh Lord, to continue to just call on the name of Jesus. Lord, I just want to say thank you, oh God, for this sweet hour of prayer. I want to say thank you, oh God, because you're always there. You're never late. You're always on time. Father God, you've already got it worked out. Lord, help us, oh God, to just let go and let God have his way in each yeah. and every one of us, each and every day. Father God, we know that he who began a good work in each and every one of us will complete it until the return of Jesus Christ. We can be confident in one thing, that if we pray to you, you will hear our prayer. If we continue to pray to you, and knowing that our prayer goes to the heaven, the heaven of heaven, all the way into your throne room. Father God, I just want to say thank you, Lord, because I know that you hear me, because you always hear our cry. Father God, we got to know that you always hear our cry. Father God, I want to say thank you, Lord, for hearing our cry to you, Father God. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. We want to say glory, hallelujah, as we give you the highest praise. Glory, 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 hallelujah, as we continue to give you the highest praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Father God, for all that you're doing right now. As you continue to move, oh God, within each and every one of us, stir us up, oh God. To continue to follow you. Stir us up, Lord, to call on that name. Stir us up, oh God, in that time when we are meditating on your word. Help us to meditate more and more each and every day, Father God. Oh God, if we say we love you, Lord, we need to spend more time with you. Father God, help us, Lord, because Father God, we need to be with you at all times. Help us to stay on that narrow pathway with you because we know narrow is the way that leads to the kingdom. Father God, we want to just say thank you, Father God. Lord, we ask you to be with those who've turned their back against you, Father God. Yeah, all the backsliders, Father God. Help them, Father God, because they need you, Lord. Oh, God, no matter what they think this world can offer them, you can offer them more than they can even think or imagine, Father God. Yes, you offer us all eternal life with you in the kingdom of God. And I just want to say thank you, Father God, because you said that we should seek thee first the kingdom of God and all your righteousness. Oh, God, and all things will be added unto thee. Father God, I just want to say thank you, Father God, for never leaving us nor forsaking us for anything, Father God. You are right there. You see whatever we're going through. Lord, we ask in the name and in the blood of Jesus as you continue to make our crooked path straight. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Father God. Lord, you continue to make our path straight. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Father God. Oh, Lord, help us, Lord, to just hold on, oh God. Just a little while longer. Just hold on. Just a little while longer. Hold on. Just a little while longer. Because everything going to be all right. I just want to say thank you, Lord, as we continue to hold on to you. Yes, Lord, I just want to say thank you, because Father God is your power. Oh, God, that wonder working power that you continue to use us, oh God. Yes, Lord, we are your servants, Father God. Use us, Father God, as you see fit, Father God. We want to say thank you, Father God, because we know that prayer works, Lord. Oh, God, we want to say thank you, Lord, because, Father God, you made a way 
for us just to be here today. You continue to do the impossible, to allow us to do the possible. Father God, I want to say thank you. Yes, Lord, we want to say thank you, Father God, for how you're working things out in each and every one of our lives. Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh God, no matter what situation comes along, we need to just think on you, Father God. Yes, Lord, just continue to keep our minds stayed on the Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh God, we want to say thank you, Lord, as you continue to show us how to become over Comers in this world because Father God, you said that we are have trials, you said that we are have tribulation, but fear not, for you will overcome them all. Lord, I just want to say thank you, oh God, for that encouraging word. Oh Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord, as I continue to hold on just a little while longer. Hold on, Lord, I'm holding on to you, oh God, oh God, because. I know, Lord, that you are with us all, Father God. Lord, help us to continue to just pray. Oh, God, we ask, oh, God, that you continue to be with us in our service tomorrow. Be with us in our Bible studies, Lord. Oh, God, as you continue to give us the understanding and a revelation of what thus says the Lord. Oh, how sweet it is to know what thus says the Lord. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh, God, as you're starting to open doors, Father God, I want to say thank you, Lord, as you're closing doors. Father God, on each and every one of our chapters of our lives, Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord, as you continue to have us write down in our book of life, oh God. Yes, Lord, oh, what thou hast done for thee. Lord, I just want to say thank you. Father God, as you continue to just love on us, oh God, help us to love on one another as you commanded us to do. Father God, we know, Father God, that you are an awesome God. You are mighty God. As we continue to praise and worship you, Lord, be in our service. Be with every pastor that are opening their doors up tomorrow, Father God, and today, Father God. Lord, we want to lift up all the pastors up to you today. Lord, Pastor Brown, Lord, we lift them up. Frederick Brown, Dr. Frederick Brown, Lord, Pastor uh, Cornelius Bracey, Lord, we lift them up to you, Lord, and others, Father God. Lord, we just lift them up to you in the name and in the blood of Jesus the Christ, asking you to be with them all, Father God, knowing, Father God, that we all need you each and every hour of the day. We're going to call on you, Lord, in a very special way. Lord, we just want to just say thank you. Thank you for anointing and appointing each and every one of us, oh God. Yes, Lord, to be the servants that you called us all to be. Lord, I just want to say thank you. Lord, we want to lift up Sister Maria and her family to you, Lord. Continue to strengthen her up. Uh, strengthen her, build her up where she's torn down. Be with her family in Costa Rica. Be with her daughter, Hannah, and her son, Trevor, Lord. Continue to give her the strength to do the work of the ministry that you called her to do. Yes, Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name that you continue to wash her and cleanse us in the blood of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord, we lift up Brother Jim Kennedy to your Father God, asking you to give him that strength of help and that he needs each and every day, Father God. Give him clarity of mind and thought, Father God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift up our whole congregation to you, Father God. Our ministers, auxiliaries, ministry teachers, and church family, we lift them all up to you in the name and in the blood of Jesus the Christ, asking you to be with them all, asking you to touch them all, asking you to call them all, asking you, God, because you said that we can come to you, Father God, that we can cast all our cares on you. Yes, Lord, so we're going to leave our luggage right here at this altar, Lord. We're not going to pick it up. We're just going to lay it down at the throne. We're going to lay it down at your feet. We're going to lay it down and get up and go, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We're going to just praise you now because you've taken them all away. We're going to say hallelujah right now. Brother God, for all of those who are calling on you, Lord, we're just going to say hallelujah. Lord, we ask you to be with Brother Al, Lord, who came to his first Bible study, Lord, we just ask that you continue to work on him, Lord. Work with his, his wife, Lord. Continue to keep him strong in you, Lord. Help him to read your word, oh God. Help him to ask that question of you. Oh, what must I do to be saved? Lord, I just ask this in Jesus' name. Be with our choir members, Lord. Each member, Father God. Each person. Be with Tony Saunders, Father God. And all the singers, Father God. Lord, we just lift them up to you right now, Lord. Be with Danny, the organ player, Lord. Yes, Lord, be with them all, Father God. Let them know there is a true living Savior watching over them all. There's a true living Savior that they 
opportunity to call upon. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord, as you continue, oh God, to show us the way. Yes, Lord, as you continue to be with each and every one of us, no matter where we journey today, Lord, we want to say thank you. Lord, you are with us, oh God. If we believe, it is. Lord, we have that faith in you. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Lord, having that hope in you and what you've already done. Yes, when you gave your only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. Lord, we want to thank you for the sweet hour of prayer. We want to say thank you for always being there. Lord, you're there right now. You're there when I'm done. You're there when I wake up. Lord, there's no place, oh God, that you're not there. Lord, and I just want to say thank you. Lord, so let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen again. And we want to thank you for joining us for a sweet hour of prayer. Maybe there's someone who prayed with us, want to accept Christ as the Lord and Savior. And all you have to do is just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. Yes, and that God raised him from the dead. Yes, he is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is our master. Oh, Lord, don't get me started. He is all in all. And I just want to say thank you. Uh, just come on down to Communion Baptist Church tomorrow at 1045. We'll be open, ready to praise and worship the Lord. Praise and worship the Lord with us at 1620 Sonoma Avenue. At 1045, we'll be here and we'll be glad to see you here tomorrow with us. And so I'm Reverend Parker uh, saying thank you again for joining us for a sweet hour of prayer. A church that prays together stays together is our motto. So let's continue to pray without ceasing. Amen. And God bless. <laughs>